It's a travel day, Mario. So getting a lift from the, oh, where did we stay? Camelot to John Wayne was good. He had a little bit of weight, but it wasn't bad. Very good driver. It was about $35 from the hotel to here. Yeah. Quick little airport special if you have TSA free check. It was good. We'll take you along. You ready to go home, Rowan? Rowan. What? Ready to go home? Uh, pretty, pretty much. I miss my Xbox. <laughs> Mrs. Xbox. I miss my Xbox. I miss the animals. I, w I won't play my Halo piece. <laughs> All right. We are home now. <laughs> There's Leia. Are you happy we're home, Leia? Yeah. I said quiet on set. <laughs> Enough. Enough. Lay down. Lay down. You can help me. Sit. Good girl. Alright, so I wanted to do a little haul video for you. We didn't go too ham, but this is stuff that kids bought, I bought, and then some stuff that um, was given to us as well. There's Buddy laying on her scratchy box. Okay, and also I'm going to include some of the pins that I did some pin trading with. So this is going to be in no particular order. So Ashton bought one of these giant suckers. I'm glad that he listened to me to not open it until we got home. But it did definitely get a little squished in the plane ride. So he's going to probably be mad about that. Um, we did the Plaza Inn Magic Happens dining package. So they gave us... These lanyards, which at one somewhere I read said that you would turn these in, but they let us keep them. It was kind of a nice little souvenir. Kind of in that same vein. This is our VIP badge that you get to keep. So it's dated and has a barcode, so you can only use it that one day. Um, this was on top of my chicken sandwich at Toadstool Cafe. Rowan wanted to keep that, so... I'll take that. Also at Toadstool Cafe, um, we bought these sippers. It says Super Nintendo World, Universal Studios. Wish it did say Hollywood on there, but that's okay. Um, Ashton got the green, if I remember right. Rowan picked out the red. Oh, there's a pin back. Um, at Bubba Gump, my frozen watermelon margarita came in a fancy cup like this, but. You got um, to take the receipt into the gift shop and get the souvenir cup, which is kind of nice. It's a shaker. I guess that's to like measure out your alcohol. I'm not <laughs> very proficient at making drinks at home. And there we go. I'm just going to probably use this as a normal cup. I don't know when I would need a shaker, but if I do, I have one. Um, let's see what else. So Rowan bought this chocolate bar. Um, probably in a tips and trick video, I will explain how, <laughs> hold up, sorry, garbage truck was here. Um, in a tips and trick video, I will explain how I deal with the kids with their money and their souvenirs. I think it's a pretty good system that, um, I figured out along the way. So Rowan bought that. Um, I did buy power up bands for everyone. So Rowan got Mario, Ashton got Toad, I got Princess Peach, and these um, are helpful for the game in Super Nintendo Land. Um, and then you can actually link them up with your Switch as well. So we'll have to see Rowan do that sometime, but that's pretty cool. So yeah, those are nice little souvenir. Um, Ashton grabbed a I graduated button. He technically just finished eighth grade, so graduated middle school. I'm not sure why he wanted that, but he did. He grabbed his brother, um, I'm a celebrating and wrote my birthday, which he's been wrong. <laughs> Rowan only wore it for like part of one day. Um, we got our tickets for Disneyland. So Disneyland's a little bit different if you've never been and only been to Disney World. So you do get a confirmation code that you can put in your My Disney Experience, but your tickets come later in an email, like less than a week before your trip. And in that email, it said, view my magical extras. And I was like, oh, what is that? 
and it was in coupons for Disney Springs area, but then I also said pick up your collectible lantern and pin from there's a location in each park and then downtown Disney. So we picked these up while we were in California Adventure. I don't think a lot of people picked them up in California Adventure because they were a little bit confused and they asked, oh, is this Costco? And I said, no, no, I, I just booked through, you know, a normal travel agent because I definitely knew that Costco got this and I was looking at doing it through Costco, but they didn't have the hotels I wanted on there. So I just went with my normal travel agent, which I'll link his information down below if you're looking for someone. But this was cool. I was not expecting this and we each got one. Um, Ashton, we had the Power Up bands, and he had the, the Doctor Strange one, but he got this one, which actually, all the Power Band stuff is on sale. I think they're gonna, like, discontinue these ultimately, so he bought the Black Panther one, which is kind of cool. It makes, like, a noise and lights up. The batteries are dead, otherwise I'll show you. But yeah, um, something to know if you do buy these, sales are final, I tell you that, um, but you also want to make sure you put it in game mode, which is that one there. So the first time he wrote it, he didn't have it in that. And he was like, why is this not working? So they let us try it again, which is really nice. Um, Rowan has had the super, or the Iron Man one, but we needed to get him a new piece. Because um, one of the kids lost it and took it from the other. So he needed a new piece. And that also is part of Rowan's. Um, Ashton got this cup from... Blue Bayou, and then this one from Bubba Gump, he really likes gimmicky light up cup stuff, so, and then it, you know, has the Bubba Gump, can't really see it in my carpet, but, um, I bought some pins to do collect pins, if you guys ever want to see my pin collection, let me know. But I do have a Dalmatian collection, so I got that one there. I've been eyeballing this on eBay, so I'm glad they still had it, and I didn't have to get it on eBay. I got this Ursula one, because I do have an Ursula collection. And then I got this Super Nintendo World one, which I like that it said Hollywood on there. So this doesn't really fit with any of my collections, just places I've been, I guess. So that was cute. Ashton bought himself this hat. Um, we did get this popcorn bucket. I do like a popcorn bucket. What's nice about this one is I'll actually like use this one at home. It's not going to be a display piece. So it says Super Nintendo World. But yeah, I thought this was a cute one. This was not a bad priced one. Now, <laughs> this one was a little bit higher priced. Um, but she's beautiful. And this is actually going to sit on a shelf. It's never going to have popcorn actually in it. So they gave it to us and um, it was funny, they put the cardboard box like right on top of there. It says 100 Years of Wonder. It actually rolls. to get a little bit bent on the ride home, so I've been kind of readjusting her. But yeah, I thought that was pretty. Um, I only bought one pair of new ears, which was surprising. So I got the Indiana Jones ones, um, which are now back order on Shop Disney. But you can get these ones on Shop Disney if you like. These were really popular. I saw a lot of boys wearing these ones too. Um, I mentioned this in one of the videos, but Vicki, our waitress at our server at um, the World of Color dessert party, gifted Ashton this. So it was a little bit of magic. This lights up so many different colors. He didn't even like see this with the little kids or ask for it. She just gave it to him, which was super nice. Wow, there's like six different colors, I think. There's a lot. So yeah, this was cute. Then it says World of Color 1. Rowan bought this big Mario stuffed animal, um, which he has quite a collection of Mario stuffed animals. So and this Mario one's in Mario stuff in general. <laughs> this one's super stuff, um, soft, and it does say Super Nintendo World Universal Studios on his side. Um, if this is something you may want to buy, just keep in mind he is pricey. He is sixty dollars. So, but Rowan loves him so. It's a good purchase if you love what you buy. I did get a reusable tote. I love getting these reusable bags when we go. Um, and then I bought this little fantasy tote. Super Nintendo World. I like that it says Hollywood. 
All right, about the end. Ashton bought this Bowser hat, which is funny. And then I got this new. Um, they're doing the through the decades, and I actually have a little collection of Dalmatian Loungefly. So this one's adding to my collection. Let's see the inside. Beautiful. What's kind of cool too, if you buy, like I normally would check on the website to see if it was cheaper there versus the parks. But if you do buy them in the parks, they gave me my Disney Award Visa card discount on this. Where if you buy them on Shop Disney Lounge Fly, you don't generally get that discount. So something to keep in mind. Um, we do have our wristbands in the world of color. I'm going to put those in like our shadow box. And then the last bought thing, the little. Um, Aurora's Castle, my brain was blocked. Not working for a second. Disneyland on the bottom. It's very pretty. And then they had a few um, Disney charms that were up to 50% off. Some were 30 or some were 50. So I've been wanting this little Dalmatian one. Yes, I collect Dalmatian. <laughs> and they had it. So for sale. So I bought her. I think it was like 40 bucks. It's not too bad for a Pandora charm. I did do some pin trading on this trip, so let me show you the new ones I got. So I got a Duffy, Ursula. I don't officially collect Duffy, but um, that was one I was going to trade that I didn't trade in the end. I have a small collection of Bolt because that's um, Leia's Disney dog. She's got that sonic bark that <laughs> you heard, like Bolt. My stepdad was doing, and my uncle were doing Route 66 at the same time we were in California. So they have finished. They're on their way home now. So I got this pin for my stepdad. Another Duffy, or that may be Sally Mae. She's kind of pink, so maybe that's Sally Mae. That was one I was going to trade that I didn't. I do have a small collection of Cheshire Cat. Same with Lucifer. So I traded for those ones. And then I traded for this um, music Mickey. And that is it. Yeah. I think that was everything. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but that's our whole haul. So not too bad for three of us. Um, I was impressed I only got one pair of ears. Only a couple pins, three in total. So it's not too bad. All right. Um, so the next video will be going kind of an overview of the trip in general, some thoughts, tips, tricks, feelings. But yeah, it's good to be home. I got massive amounts of laundry to do. Um, got everything unpacked. I just got to put everything away now. So, yeah, it was a great trip. But I'll uh, do a full recap later on. So, future me will go into the resource for today's video. Sorry, I didn't get much, you know, with the airports. Um, I guess I should talk about that real quick. Flights were good. Um, the one from Santa, well, John Wayne, to phoenix was a little bit delayed because they did not have a flight attendant there that sh when he should have been or when she should have been so um they had to call someone in so they got there you know pretty quick we were boarding at the time we were supposed to take off so it wasn't a huge delay um but some people had really tight connection flights in phoenix so they um asked those that didn't have tight connections to wait so we had wasn't as tight as i originally thought it was um but we had you know an hour to connect so we got to go but um yeah so it was a good flight and then from phoenix to detroit pretty uneventful you know we were just going it's a three about three and a half hour flight from phoenix to detroit so we just went along um, but that's about it for the flight nothing too exciting this time which is always a good thing all right, well, thanks for watching, and future me will go into that resource now. All right, so forgot to show, try not to have a shadow on them. I forgot to show the Splash Mountain um, smashed pennies that we got. So it was like three for a dollar, or three for three dollars, something like that. So um, this one here, there are coming down the log flume on the hill and it's like the Mickey and the Fab Five, I think. It's kind of hard to even see in person. 
And then this one is Mickey Drenched in Wet. And it says Disneyland on it. And then this one just says Splash Mountain Disneyland. Oh, on the back side. Sorry. And then this one looks like Rare Bear coming down the log flume with the uh, rabbit. And they all say Disneyland on the back. Splash Mountain. Not very well. I used, you know, cards. So it's their pennies instead of using, like, the older actual full copper ones. So I don't think, you know, that's quite as good. But, yeah. So it was kind of cool. Final piece of Splash Mountain in Disneyland. Alright. Now I'm officially done with the haul. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. All right, the resource for today's video is wannatalkaboutit.com. So my inspiration for this resource was I watched a man called Otto, started it on the plane and then finished it after I got home. Um, beautiful movie, but trigger warning, it does deal with suicide, social isolation, bereavement. Um, so just keep that in mind if you do decide to watch it, but it is a beautiful movie. Um, so they did share this resource at the beginning of the movie, which was great when you watch it on Netflix. Um, so on this website, they have links to information around sexual violence and relationship abuse, mental health and well-being, self-harm and suicide, because um, this is a Netflix site. You know, these are some of the movies that deal with those topics or shows that deal with those topics. So finding support, they do have the 9888 line on here. So if you've been with me, we've talked about 988 quite a bit. Um, but you can just dial that and be connected to the crisis lifeline. And you don't have to be suicidal to call it. If you have any strong feelings or emotions, you can dial that number. There's also RAIN, the Rape, Abuse, Incest National Network, um, which is available 24-7 at 1-800-656-4673. And you can also go to their website to chat with a specialist on there. There's also the crisis text line and then the Trevor lifeline for individuals that identify as LGBTQ plus A and that is now available in youth and is now available 24 seven. All right, let me know if you have any questions on the resources. Um, I do highly suggest that movie and just know that it's a heavy movie and deals with heavy subjects, um, but it has a beautiful ending. And then of course, Tom Hanks just can't be beat. So thank you Netflix for putting this site together and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.